Hello, I'm Bill Honachewski, and welcome to What About New Jersey History. Today, I'm in Hope, New Jersey, at the Swayze Inn Farm, and in front of me stands an ancient sycamore tree that stands as a silent century and has been for well over 400 years. One of the oldest and at 27 feet in width, widest trees in the state of New Jersey. The original owner, Israel Swayze, was a prominent resident of what was then Oxford Township and what was then Sussex County, now Hope Township in Warren County, New Jersey. In 1743, Israel Swayze purchased 143 acres of land from a larger tract of 800 acres. On July 27th of 1782, General George Washington rested under the large old sycamore tree in front of me on the property on his way to Newburgh, New York. Now legend has, at about 11 a.m., while the Moravian Bishop Johann Irwine rode ahead to alert the Moravian village that the general was coming, the general had stayed behind and rested under the sweeping canopy of this magnificent tree. The Moravians had supplied grain to Washington troops when stationed in Morristown, New Jersey, and had a long-standing invitation for the general to visit their state-of-the-art grist, lumber, and flaxseed oil mill that they had constructed. Today, the Mays family own the Swayze Inn farm, and the main income from the farm comes from a glowing frock of sheep breeds raised that include Jacobs and Scottish Blackface. Now each spring, the flock is sheared and wool is sold as raw fleece. Processed roving and natural colored yarns, in addition, sheep and lambs are sold to breeding stock and the hay is also raised on the farm. Now trees such as the one in front of me, lovingly cared for today by the Mays family, and that stood gracefully at the time of the Lenape, are now under grave threat more than ever through haphazard development, harvesting, or just neglect. Heritage trees are absolutely paramount to the story of New Jersey's history and must be preserved for future generations at all costs. I'm Bill Honachewski, and thank you for watching. Remember to preserve and protect our history and natural environment.